In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the MatSim GUI and the Simuntu Via software to run and analyze Mat. We'll begin by opening the MatSim 0.10.1 jar that uh, you've downloaded already. We open this up and we get the MatSim GUI, which is a basic interface that just shows you the the log and the outputs here after you've told it you know a few different things about your your setup. I'm going to choose from our examples folder I've created a scenario called Payson and in this uh, scenario I have a network and I have a plans file and I have a configuration. So let's pick the configuration and open that we can edit it if we want to. One thing to note is that MatSim does not let you write over outputs, so you don't lose a large period of work. Um, so I'm going to change this from output Payson to output Payson 1. I'll save this. If I'm running a large scenario, I can choose to increase the memory I allow Java to take. In this case, this will be sufficient. So let's start this scenario and you can see it gets going. Okay, now the simulation has ended. You can see it has shut down and dumps out all the output files. Those outputs are in output, Payson 1, and here are those files. Now let's look at how to visualize these outputs in VIA. So this is the VIA window. We can come up here to the data sources and it says drop files here to add as data source. So there are two files we want to add. The first is the network that we started with. And we can drag that in here to add it as a network. And then the second is the output events file. So this is a large file that contains every time every vehicle entered a link or began an activity or started a trip or anything like that. So we'll put this in here as well. We can come over here to the layers file and push here to add a layer and we'll add a network which will show the network in the background. We can change the visualization of this network by coming here and you know turning it to a lighter shade of gray for the car network, it may be easier to see. Then we can add the vehicles from the events file. And then load the data. And now what we get is this, this timeline and we can go forward through time. We can also just push play and that will begin this simulation that we have. Um, your simulation may or may not look something like this depending on the way you've you've coded it. But we can let it go and we can see everything that's happening during the day. There are a few things we can do with this uh, this information. We can zoom in and we can select a car that we see on the road and then this when we select it it will show us the full daily activity pattern for this person. So we see they have uh, three car legs you can also see uh, some attributes about them. Um, if we click on a link instead of on a car, then what we can see is we can see in red here the path of everyone who used that link or within that hour. We can also change that to all day. 
So for everyone who used that link, here are the other links in the network that they used during that day. Another thing that can be helpful is for a particular link, you can click on a link and come over here to this. So it, it shows you, you know, the speed and the, um, the ID of that link. But then you can click this and say uh, link volumes and it generates this plot of the volumes on that link by 15 minute bin or by an hour and in this case this link is mostly used in the PM period but you can set any bin size depending on the scale of your analysis. You can then export this as a uh, CSV or as a as a image file. <coughs> You can also get the turning movements at any intersection. So if we click on a node and select the node, and we can turn this here and say, give us the intersection flows. And this is the intersection flows for all day. Or again, you can draw a window say around the PM peak period from about 4 to about 7. So this is what's happening at the intersection during that period. <clears throat>